Ayurveda we have this gorgeous polyherbal formula known as Trikatu. Tree or tri meaning three and katu meaning pungent. So it's three pungent spices in equal quantity that are mixed together. And we use this formula quite a lot when we've got a lot of sluggishness in the body. So when the agni or the digestive fire is slightly impaired and is weak, so the quality of our digestive functioning is low, or when we've got a lot of what we call armor, which is metabolic waste. If we've got quite a lot of metabolic waste in the system, then again, we might be looking at this formula. This formula also really supports the respiratory system. So if we've got a tendency to have sort of wet, sticky coughs, that kind of thing, then again, this is something that we would look at and reach towards. So I'll introduce you to the three different spices. The first one is called pepper, piper longum or pippali. So long pepper, you can see why it's called long pepper. And it's a fabulous type of pepper. It has a pungency to it, but it doesn't have quite the same amount of heat intensity as for example, black pepper. So the, another, in, the second ingredient is, we call it maricha, black pepper, piperonigrum. So that goes in there as well. And then the third spice is what we call shunti or dry ginger powder. So in Ayurveda we see ginger as whether it's fresh or whether it's dry as two different types of spices. So the dry ginger powder, as the name suggests, it has a more drying quality on the body. It's also more heating than the wet, than the, dry, than the fresh version. So we've got the three different heating spices that are combined together. And then to actually give the formula, we tend to put it in water, or you can put it in other drinks, you can mix it, it can be mixed with honey, it's sometimes mixed with jaggery or sugar, it's a kind of sugar. We tend to use that when there's a lot of heat already in the body because this formula is very heating so if we want to soften that heat we might combine it with jaggery or sometimes we also combine it with ghee. And that's because this formula, again, is quite drying. It's deliberately drying. However, if, if we still want to use it to maybe bring up the digestive system, but without creating excess dryness, then we might mix it, for example, with ghee. And so many different ways to use this formula. We tend not to use it when there's a lot of excess heat in the body. So when there's a lot of gastritis, for example, then we would maybe look at using alternative formulas instead. Something else that we like to use it for is if we want to stimulate the liver and the spleen. So particularly if we want to encourage the body to naturally secrete more digestive enzymes, then we, we love this formula and like to, to use it. If you want to find out more about possibly using Trichotu for yourself, then I suggest getting in touch with a practitioner who can help guide you and, and suggest how to best use it. You can feel free to get in touch with myself or look up your nearest local Ayurvedic practitioner who can help you out there. I hope you enjoyed finding out a little bit more about Trikatu and thanks for watching.